And so let me tell you about my own personal learning journey into data science. And so pretty much I've taught myself data science, which started back in 2004 to 2005 when I was a PhD student. And I came from a biology background with a undergraduate in biological science. And at the time I was aiming for pre-med so that I could get into medical school. But then during the fourth year, I had a change of heart and I wanted to change majors to computer science. And back then I wanted to learn programming so that I could create video games. But then I figured that it would probably take too much time because I was already in my fourth year and I had one or two semesters left to go. And so why not just push through and graduate with an undergraduate degree? And then after graduating, I decided to pursue a PhD in medical technology. And at the time, I saw this cool video about tissue engineering where scientists have engineered an artificial ear on the back of a mouse. And so what got me into PhD was not related to data science. And so after the first year of doing research, which was not related to tissue engineering, which originally brought me into doing a PhD, I did my research in the first year about protein engineering. And so during this first year, I encountered a lot of failed experiments. So the first experiment was a success because I was able to clone or genetically engineer a metal binding peptide into a green fluorescent protein so that the jellyfish protein could fluoresce its color upon binding to the metal ions, which are contaminated in wastewater. And so a long story short, I presented my work at a conference and then I met a newly graduate PhD scholar who became a professor and he was my co-advisor and he introduced me to the field of data mining. And so essentially he recommended a book on neural network and chemistry. And then after that, I pretty much self-taught myself to use MATLAB, to do neural network calculations, to do self-organizing map. And then that eventually led me in several years to self-teach myself Python programming, R programming, and various concepts in data science. And so back in the time, in 2005, the field was called data mining. And it's essentially how we're able to collect data, process data, and apply machine learning to make sense of the biological data. And so I've actually created some YouTube videos on the topic of how a biologist became a data scientist, which was my first video on YouTube. And I've also created a video on becoming a data scientist to PhD or not to PhD. And so a long story short, I wanted to apply machine learning to solve biological problems. 